What goes up will often come down. And when the downturn hits, even the most high quality stocks can get dragged down. No investment is 100% recession proof, but there are some sectors that have traditionally held up better in downturns. The unifying quality among recession proof stocks is that the business tend to be uh, relatively stable. Maybe to even some extent, uh, some would say not terribly exciting. Uh, they, they're not completely tied to the economic cycle. The business is relatively stable. Uh, it is staple. I think another unifying factor is very often these companies have a strong market position. When you think about recession-proof stocks, typically we tend to find them in areas such as consumer staples, healthcare, utilities, and sometimes even luxury goods. The one common denominator that you'll typically find is that demand tends to be fairly inelastic, i.e. you tend to want to brush your teeth, whether there's a recession or not, you're going to buy that toothpaste. What you also find is typically these companies do have some amount of pricing power so that if volumes come down, that actually raise prices to offset the margin pressure. And so the key from here is to find sectors and stocks whose earnings will remain resilient because rates are about as high as they're gonna go. So we only have to worry about one of the two things that normally would bring stocks down, earnings falling. So let's look for sectors and stocks where the earnings are very unlikely to fall and very likely to continue growing through a recession. Should a recession hit, experts say there are some sectors you should be wary of. During a recession, uh, the sectors that are very linked to the economy will be, to some extent, uh, negatively impacted. So, you know, uh, consumer discretionary, for example, uh, buying luxury goods, it's something that many of us can do without. But nevertheless, in the good times, we tend to spend a bit more on luxury goods, travel, for example. On top of that, typically in a recession, you find that uh, the real estate sector sometimes get affected as well. Because in a recession, what happens is that uh, I, historically, a recession is accompanied by a uh, higher unemployment rate, job losses, and as a consequence, you find that when people have less job security, they are less prepared to buy homes, uh, invest in homes, and that affects the real estate market. Looking beyond equities, there are other asset classes that have tended to be less affected during recessions. Gold has done well over the last few recessions, but frankly, it's done well over the entire period because I think it's also been combined with worries around inflation. I think when you're looking at, in the event of recession, you know, fixed income, to some extent, can be recession-proof to the extent that you know what you're getting in for. The other prime asset that you would look to in a recession is high-quality, longer maturity bonds. That's an area where you can make some serious money in a recession. Um, because as central banks start lowering policy rates, that usually spurs a big rally in the bond market. And not all bonds will be created equal. In that type of environment, high yield bonds, people have to begin, begin worrying, um, will the issuer of the bond default because we're in the midst of a recession. So you really want to buy longer maturity bonds that benefit disproportionately when interest rates go down, of the highest quality issuers, often government securities, but also very high quality, uh, very strong corporates. So that's a great asset class to own. The deeper the recession gets, the better that type of asset would do. Other than gold and bonds, it is also advisable to hold on to a cash buffer. And to the extent that one does have cash during recession, I think what one would always say is look for opportunities to put that cash to work in assets or investments that you like. The other thing that we all talk about is you know, the, the notion of dollar cost averaging. And to the extent that very few people are really able to time the markets perfectly, having cash on hand to deploy relatively regularly into the markets, especially during a recession, is always a good thing to be able to do. Ultimately, it is important to still stay invested and build a well-balanced, diversified portfolio. 
While recession is one of the drivers of the stock market, markets are driven by many, many other factors. And you know, that includes uh, global investment flows, monetary policy, uh, geopolitics, individual company fundamentals. I mean, AI stocks have done exceptionally well in the first half of this year, despite concerns of a recession. So it's got everything to do with the individual fundamentals behind AI. And if the fundamentals are exceptional, they, these stocks could actually do well. Uh, and so investors should not get consumed by recession. Even in recession, there are opportunities and they should look out for these opportunities because at the end of the day, investments is a long-term gain. You want to invest for the long-term uh, and not for the short-term and, you know, economic cycles are normal. And so, you know, you should not let economic cycles purely consume you, determine your investment decisions. Mm -hmm.